This video is to show you how to record and post a Kaltura video to a Blackboard class. In Blackboard, we launch the Kaltura tool by going to the Tools option on the left-hand navigation menu and clicking My Media. The My Media section shows a list of all of the media that we've recorded and uploaded to our Kaltura tool. To add a recording, we click Add New and then Kaltura Capture. This loads the Kaltura Capture Desktop Recorder tool, where we can choose the option to open Kaltura Capture. We have another video earlier in this playlist, which shows you how to download the Kaltura Capture tool if you have not done so already. Choose Open Kaltura Capture, and this will open the Kaltura Capture application. The Kaltura Capture Recorder lets you record your screen, your webcam, as well as your microphone. You can enable or disable any of these options by clicking on the icon. Typically, when doing a presentation, you don't want to record your camera and just want to record both your screen and audio. If you have multiple microphones plugged in or multiple screens attached, you can choose the drop down and select which screen you would like to record from, as well as which microphone you would like to use. You can choose to either record the full screen or select an area of your screen record. With your selections made, you can hit the record button, which will give you a 3 to one countdown to begin recording. Whilst recording, you can pause at any point in time by hitting the red button to pause and hitting the red button again to resume. You can choose the pencil icon, which will bring up an array of tools which you can use to annotate your presentation. The pointer icon will highlight your mouse pointer when you make clicks if you're giving a tutorial. The pencil icon lets you draw. You have an arrow tool, a text creation tool, and finally, a repositioning tool where you can move these different objects. You can hit the trash can to delete all of your annotations. When you've finished recording, you can hit the Stop Recording button and choose Yes, Stop. I failed to mention just now there was also an X icon you could click on if you merely wanted to delete your recording. But now that we've hit stop, we are prompted to upload our recording. So from here, we can give a title to our recording. By default, it's titled with just the date and Kaltura capture recording. So it's always a good idea to put a unique title. We'll call this one test video. You can optionally add a description. And then when you're ready, hit save and upload. You want to hit save and upload because this will put it into Kaltura and let you easily post it to Blackboard. If you hit save, it'll just save it locally on your device. Choose save and upload. And then we'll see a loading bar indicating the progress our video has made in getting uploaded to both Kaltura as well as Blackboard. Uploading a video can take some time depending on the length of your video and the speed of your internet connection. I can see from this screen that the video has finished uploading, so I can either minimize or close out of the Kaltura Capture recording tool and head back into Blackboard. Now, when I go and visit tools in My Media, or when you visit them, you'll see that this video will shortly appear in your My Media library. To post your video to your specific course, you can navigate to that particular course, And then you can visit either the assignment or discussion board where you would like to post your video. Since this is an assignment, I'll click on Write Submission. If this was a discussion board, we would already see this rich content editor window appear for us. I'll hit the dot 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 to expand the full menu of options. And to add the Kaltura video that I've previously created, I'll hit the plus sign. There are several options given to us here. You can choose either Kaltura Media or Kaltura Media Submission to be able to submit your video. When you click on this link, it'll show a full list of the media in your media library. You can hit the button that says Select next to the video that you wish to upload. If you have a large library of videos, there's a search bar here that you can search for the title of the specific video that you would like to select. In our example, I want to choose this test video. When I hit select, I'll see that this video 
has been added to my post. And I'm able to hit the submit button to then post this video. In your assignment submission or discussion post submission, you'll see a little mini player appear that you're able to hit the play button on and then play your video, which you've recently uploaded. And that concludes how to both record and post a video using Kaltura to Blackboard.